In this video, I want to talk about this screen. This is called the Posts Admin Archive, and it lists all of the posts you have on your WordPress site. We have a title, the author, categories, tags, comments, and date. You can sort by date or title just by clicking on it. And you can edit, quick edit, trash, or view any post just by hovering over it. If you click on an author, well, then you can see all of the posts by that author. Similarly, all of the posts in a particular category. Up at the top, we've got a search bar, and this gets really helpful if you have a lot of posts on your site, as well as bulk actions, edit, and move to trash for any selected posts. We'll talk about that in just a minute. You'll notice also here we have screen options at the top that allow us to choose the columns we're going to show. If this is your blog and you're the only author, well, then you might want to get rid of the author column. It makes no sense. You can change the number of items per page. And so if you're doing bulk actions, for instance, it might be worth increasing this number. But be careful. If you increase it too much, you might be asking for too much information at once. The page will time out and you won't get what you're looking for. If that happens, just change the number back to a lower number and you'll be good to go. You can also change the view mode, whether you want it to be a list or an excerpt view. That gives you just a little bit of an excerpt on the archive page. I'll switch that back. Lastly, these links here allow you to see all posts, all published posts, and all posts that have been made sticky. If I select a couple of posts, I can perform bulk actions, whether that be editing them or moving them to trash. If I select Edit and click Apply, well, then I can make changes to the author, commenting, status, whether they're sticky or not, as well as update their category via these bulk actions. That will save you a ton of time. I can also move a number of posts to the trash if I need to. I can also filter by month or category. So this admin archive page is really helpful in managing your posts. As I mentioned, when you hover over a post, you can edit, quick edit, trash, or view. If I quick edit, it takes me to the quick edit page where I can update the title, slug, date, password, make it private, change the categories, update the tags, allow comments and pings or not, change the status, and change whether the post is sticky. If I make any changes, of course, I can click Update. Using bulk actions, I can even trash everything. And you'll see that I have no posts left. Now, there's an Undo button here, which is good. Or I can even go to Trash and Restore it. I'm just going to click Undo. And then I'm going to trash the Hello World post that came with WordPress. So now I have one published and one trashed. If I go into my trash, Again, I can restore it or delete permanently. A post that's in trash does not appear on your website. Now let's take a look and see what the post looks like on the front of the site. By default, WordPress will list our posts in post date order on the front page. We have our title, our introduction to our text, and all of the publication settings, as well as an edit button because we're logged in. Down here towards the bottom, I have recent comments, categories, recent posts, archives, and some metadata. These are widgets that we'll look at in just a bit. Right here is the search bar. And if I type in Wordville, of course, it's going to find my post because it's got Wordville in the title. Over here on the right, as I mentioned, we've got recent posts. I can click on any post and it'll take me to it where I can leave a comment if comments have been enabled. In WordPress, this is called a single because it's a single item or a single post. Now you have the option to leave a comment. Normally, it would ask for a name, but because we're logged in and our comments will be approved automatically as administrators, we can just leave a comment. This is a great post. Post the comment and you'll see that the admin has entered in a comment. Now that I've left a comment, you'll note under recent comments here, 
And Min has left a comment on Welcome to Wordville. Once again, the great thing about WordPress is that all of this will happen automatically. You don't actually have to update any of these widgets yourself. 